Don't attack us. Don't attack yourself. Attack distortion. Distortion is the thing that's trying to drag you down and kill you and kill your children. Kill your children? What are you saying? You know, we're about halfway through the month right now and I was thinking, this month has been quite stress-free, you know? I felt pretty relaxed. And then it hit me. It's probably because we haven't spoke about eight passengers yet. And as much as I would love to stand here in front of you guys and say I don't want to talk about eight passengers ever again, you've got to understand, it's pretty easy content. I mean, it's literally like Ruby sits there and thinks, you know what, Callum Marky hasn't spoke about me for a little while. Let's give them something to talk about. Like, they've just uploaded a new video where the thumbnail says, Why I left eight passengers. Like, if that doesn't scream a Kalamaki video, then I don't know what does. Now, the actual title of the video is, Your Child Needs Principles, Not Opinions. Because if there is one thing that we know about Ruby, she would love nothing more than her children to not form their own opinions. But either way, it's a 17-minute video. I haven't seen it yet. Hopefully, they do get into the topic of why she's left eight passengers. And... I'm sure, just like effing Ruby does, there's going to be a lot to take the piss out of, so let's get into it. But before we do get any further into the video, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so, because I'm trying to hit 400,000 subscribers on this channel, and we're quite a bit off right now, so if you could help out, that would be bloody lovely. Welcome to Connections, I'm Jody Hildebrandt. And I'm Ruby Frankie. What, is my computer, like, fucking up or something? What's going on here? And I'm Ruby Frankie. So, we first want to thank you. We oh, are... no, that's just how the video starts, apparently. You know, a nice little freeze frame and some jolly music. What an intro. You know, we go to the Facebook page, and it's like, oh, look, we have this many more people that join. We're so excited that you're with us. <laughs> oh, my God, she's still delusional. She still thinks that people have genuinely joined the Facebook page to get advice. Jordy, you couldn't be more wrong. And this desire to have an army of mothers and fathers, men and women, teens alike, moving forward throughout this planet and learning how to live principles of truth. I'm not sure if I would really class it as an army, to be honest. I mean, your one platform that was really dedicated for your army was your paid platform where people could speak to you personally. And there were six people in it, three of which were Ruby, Jordy, and me. So there's three other people in the army. I mean... It's a force to be reckoned with. So we know that that's why you're here and you're coming and saying, help me understand principles of truth. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, exactly why I'm here. You hit the nail on the head. Well, I don't think that that's what it is that we're doing here. We're not interested in giving our opinion. We're not giving opinions. We're actually interested in helping you understand principles of truth so that you can govern your life from a base of being honest, responsible, and humble. Yeah, eh? Three words I wouldn't really relate to you to, but I mean, each of their own. Like, honestly, how can Jordy sit there and be like, oh, you know, we're not here to give opinions. That's all you fucking do. I mean, that's what I'm doing too, right? So I'm not sitting here and saying that you're not allowed to have opinions, but it just so happens that your opinions are things like gay people shouldn't be loved by their parents, and if you commit suicide, it's your own choice, and that's a you problem, you know? Not exactly the best message to spread. We are interested in when you feel triggered, because many of you have been triggered, and we know that because of your responses that you're giving, and you'll even say, this is my opinion, this is my perspective. <laughs> Literally sounds like every 13-year-old on a Call of Duty voice chat. Like, as soon as you make someone a bit pissed off, you're like, oh, you're so triggered? Why are you so triggered, bro? Maybe it's not because people are just being reactive for no reason, you know? Maybe it has something to do with the things that you're saying, you know? Just a suggestion. And we're inviting you to see something else. We're inviting you to, instead of giving an opinion and a perspective, we're inviting you to learn principles of truth so that you can offer that to another person. Right, so instead of having your own opinions, we want you to live by these principles. These very, very strict principles. I mean, it's a fucking cult, isn't it? As soon as you want people to live a life where they're not allowed to form their own opinions, it's a no for me, okay? Very, very manipulative, I can't lie. You go to other Facebook mom pages and you see questions that are people, mothers, you in pain saying, I've got this situation going on, please help. And then you read the comments and there's hundreds of opinions and um, 
Um, you should do this, you should do that. God, what a horrible thing to see, eh? People having different opinions. Fucking hell, it's a crazy world. If anything, that is the best possible solution to any question. Having multiple opinions and then be able to form your own opinions based on what people are saying. That's how the world's supposed to work. Like, we've done many videos reacting to this connections page and the mums of truth page and whatnot. And we constantly hear these two people saying, oh, if you're controlling, it's against the principles of truth. But all they constantly want to do is control people. Like, you're not allowed to have your own opinions. That's the most controlling thing you can do. All of these voices coming from different backgrounds, different motives, different agendas, um, different um, scenarios from their history that are being projected onto this other person's experience uh, that isn't necessary. Jesus Christ, just say you want to run a cult. Like, just be honest. Say it with your fucking chest. You know, you see these people from different backgrounds who have different opinions and have a different way of life, and they just constantly say what they're thinking, and it's just disgraceful. Do you know how shit life would be if you could only speak to people and only take in the opinions of people who live the exact same life as yours? You'd be bored in a minute. Learning about different people's upbringings, their, their culture, their opinions, even if they're different to yours, is what makes living so good. You get to learn new stuff every single day. But Jordi and Ruby just want to sit here and only live by like five certain rules. <laughs> Doesn't sound that exciting to me. Probably should have been more clear about that. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Sorry, we're learning <laughs> no, with no, you. No, don't you worry. You've been very clear with the fact you don't know what you're doing. In fact, it was the first thing I thought. We're we're figuring this out, and we we we've taken your sweet sweet time. Because our motive and our agenda is to start a cult. Okay. See, I'm already finishing your sentences. And the hope is that all of the moms that come here learn how and practice plugging in principles of truth into these different circumstances. I mean, I hope that doesn't happen. And luckily, it seems like it's not happening because clearly no one actually gives a shit about what they say other than just to see the chaos that they spew. Because I mean, three people joined the paid platform, right? Clearly no one takes them seriously. But imagine if they did. I mean, the world would be a much, much worse place and that's putting it nicely. Four principles of truth are about learning how to be honest. Okay. Learning how to be responsible. Responsible for what? Your own perceptions. Right. Your own feelings. Okay. Your own actions. Oh. So perception comes first. Then you have an emotional response right. to a perception, like you're creating that. And then you take your perception and your emotion and you then go act with oh. it. Oh, God, and she you... really does say so much without really saying anything, doesn't she? You're just saying some key words, Geordie. This isn't some English exam where you have to hit a word count. Like, just speak like a normal human, for fuck's sake. And we're asking you to be responsible for what you're feeling. And we're asking you to be responsible for your action, which is your typing. I'm ty I'm going to react to this person. Like, when you're responsible for all of that, then you God, are living... Yeah, I mean, that's the problem here, isn't it? The people getting angry at what you said and not what you're saying. Yeah, sure, we'll run with that. I've been in social media for many years, and, and I have been a mother in distortion more years than I've been a mother in truth. This is new. I've been studying this for four years and um so i mean if that isn't a perfect example of living in truth in the way that they describe it isn't actually going to make you a better person then i don't know what will because ruby has always been a very questionable person with very questionable morals and treated her kids in a way that 99 percent of people didn't think was right and now with her living in truth and not in distortion she still does all them things but also spews hateful messages to parents. So, um, hasn't really got better. And not to mention, since she started living in truth, her whole family has turned against her. I mean, her siblings all turned against her, her own kids have turned against her, she's apparently gone through this divorce and whatnot. Like, use your brain. Maybe something changed at the same time when all of your family started disliking you and kind of separating from you. You know? Things correlate. That's humble. She's telling you. I was in distortion. I was, I was harming my kids. I was being yeah, I was Selfish. being super neglectful in, in the area that I was- So what are you now? Please, help me out here. I agree, you were a very selfish person because you filmed every aspect of your children's lives and put it on the internet for millions of people to see and didn't give them any privacy. But 
I can't say you've got much better over the years. And she said, I'm being genuinely curious. You said you made mention of The Walking Dead not being appropriate, but yet I saw you had a video where your son liked The Walking Dead. And so I understood, I know, ouch. <laughs> Good job, mom, for pointing that out to her. I mean, I could personally point out a lot worse things that you've done in your videos, but I mean, yeah, sure. The Walking Dead, awful behavior. I responded, I said, thank you so much. You're actually helping me, you're shedding a light on this distorted, disconnected parenting that I used to go into. Well, can I get a thank you then? Because I've definitely done that to a much better degree than just The Walking Dead. Like Ruby, if you really want it, I can go back through all my videos, find clips I've used in certain videos and show you if you want, okay? I think I deserve some praise. Was me being selfish because I didn't want to ruffle the distortion inside of my child, which meant I knew if I said no, he was gonna get mad and I just, you know, I don't wanna deal with the kids being mad. That's my selfishness. Weird take, not gonna lie. Like you're trying to come across as if you just kind of said yes to your kids all the time and didn't go against anything that they wanted. When, just on the top of my head, you took away your kids' Christmas presents because they were being selfish. You took away one of your kids' beds because he played a prank on his brother. You didn't allow one of your kids to eat at school because they forgot to pack their own lunch at the age of six. You sent one of your kids to a behavioral wilderness camp. Like, I mean, the list goes on. Something tells me they weren't things that your kids were overly happy with at the time. You know, but maybe I'm wrong. They're telling me all the things that they saw in this show. There was pornography, there was extreme violence, there was killing, there was murder, and they they have been bothered for years and they've never felt comfortable to come tell me about it. Why? Because I was such a disconnected mother. I mean, I'm sure there's many reasons they wouldn't feel comfortable telling you the, the truth. Like if I was them, I'd be terrified to tell you absolutely anything because you've proven time and time again that you overreact to the smaller situations and give very, very harsh punishments that don't need to be given. So of course they don't want to tell you something. And this is just about The Walking Dead. They were scared to tell you that they watched a fucking TV show. Like, doesn't that say a lot? And so now I go in and do that cleanup and that's what we're inviting you to do that was my motivating drive it's, it is my motivating well, i mean how's that worked out for you exactly like i'm sorry i don't mean to just bring up the whole like family issues time and time again but they clearly do go against what you're saying right now i was a hugely disconnected selfish aggressive neglectful mother i mean you said it not me a lot of these disconnected comments that are coming in are all about um, they're coming from this perception that my loving my child means letting them have what they want. Yeah. No, it's not. It's just not though. Most of the comments on his Facebook page are from mothers talking about how their kids have came out as gay or trans or whatever else, right? And Ruby is sat here saying, oh, it's just these mothers giving the kids what they want. No, it's just accepting your kids for what they want to be like any normal human would do. Whenever I hear Ruby speak, I can't help but think I'm watching a parody of somebody, but the fact that she's actually like this on a day-to-day -day basis is mind-blowing. I um, am open, I am curious, I can say anything I want to her and she hears it. Yeah, that's the fucking problem. Ever since you've came into Ruby's life, it's all went wrong. Like, obviously Ruby wasn't the nicest person in the world and she received a lot of criticism for that, the way she raised her kids and whatever else. But at least she was still speaking to her kids and at least she was still speaking to her siblings and they had some form of relationship and whatnot. But that's all went to shit since Geordie came into the picture. Why in the world is a 12 year old exploring their sexuality. They're supposed to be out playing with animals and little girls and, and, and going to school learning about, you know, science and math, mm -hmm. not exploring their sexuality. Mm -hmm. There it is. You know, she really can't make one single video without saying something negative about people who want to explore their sexuality. Like what difference does it make to you if someone wants to explore their sexuality? It does nothing to you. But here she is again saying, oh, I can't believe that these kids are exploring their sexuality when they should be doing more important things like maths and, and science. Can you not do all of them things? No? God, what a weird world we live in. Understanding that love equates to truth, when you finally get that, you will then start desperately loving your children. But until you live in truth, you fucking hate them. The little rodents. If the mothers of the world got together and understood truth 
and we're like locked arms, mm-hmm. locked arms, mm-hmm. like this. Nothing's getting through <laughs> us. Yeah. That's an interesting sight. Fucking hell. Mm-hmm. Locked arms, mm-hmm. like this. Nothing's getting through us. Yeah. See those kids behind us? You got to get through us to get to them. We have like two billion people together of women. Holy smokes. <laughs> Fucking holy smokes, all right? I mean, imagine two billion Geordies and Rubies roaming around the world. Fuck, I'm terrified just thinking about it. And you say, well, it's just my opinion, or not to be rude, but, and then not to be rude, but gives you permission to say whatever you want. Those <laughs> yeah, are... that's, that's funny, Ruby. I mean, the amount of times that you start off videos by giving warnings that what you're about to say might offend people because you're about to tell a parent why they can't love their transgender child. I mean, it's the same shit, isn't it? Except when we say not to be rude, but we're just disagreeing with you you want to kind of ruin a child's life, which is a different extreme. This bold wall that we are wanting to create, where mothers are powerful, where we get together and we hold the line. Oh my God, it's actually a cult. It's actually a fucking cult. I've seen too many Netflix documentaries, okay? I know how this shit starts and she is talking exactly like a cult leader. I'm calling it now. You want the people on the front line to be strong not like well you know let them do what they want we we need to be strong mothers because we are on the front line why is she giving a speech about war and protecting the front line what the fuck is this you give awful advice on a facebook page you're not fighting a fucking war that is where you are you are in the trenches right the and trenches? we're in the trenches with you so do not do not relinquish truth because you want to be liked or because you think this is a phase it's not this is life we're at war oh my god she's actually lost her mind <laughs> she's actually lost her fucking mind people are being wounded my children were wounded they were because of you because of you i have been full time you wonder where i've been on my vlogs you wonder why i left youtube it's to save my kids no amount of money I, and I'm telling you, I was making millions. And I yeah, I mean, I don't doubt that for a second. But the fact that she's crying now with the way she treated her children is like, I mean, fair enough. Obviously, F1 has the opinion pretty much that you didn't treat them very well. But the way you're living right now isn't going to save them. It isn't any better. You're still being a very hateful individual with this weird brainwashing mentality and trying to get other mothers to also have this horrible mentality. Like, nothing you've done since ending the vlogs has showed any improvement other than the fact that you're now giving your kids some privacy and letting them live their lives not on camera. But just because it's not on camera anymore doesn't mean that we now don't know the way she's been with the kids because she tells everyone the way she's been with the kids on her Facebook videos of the advice she gives out. And it's no better. This is the truth and this is where I stand. And fortunately, I had a chance. I had them in my home long enough to do it, and I'm not going to lose them. They're seeing truth. They're accepting truth. They're loving truth. I mean, are they, though? Like, one of your kids has been very vocal of the fact that they don't agree with the way you live in truth and the advice you've been given out, so much so that they don't even want to speak anymore. All your siblings, pretty much, have also been very vocal of the fact that they don't agree with you. So, I feel like you're just lying here, which, by the way, Distortion is to invite you to stand in truth and put your opinions to the side for a minute because your kids are the target of distortion. We need you. We love you. We know what power exists inside you. What the fuck is going on here? This is so weird. This is so fucking weird. What is going on here? I feel like I need a bath. She just started crying and giving this speech about how distortion is targeting your kids. And if you don't live in truth, it's going to continue to target your kids. And if you love them, you need to live like them. Like, oh my God, this is so fucking manipulative. They're trying to brainwash mothers into living like them and saying that if you don't, it's going to ruin your kids' lives. Like, what the fuck is going on? Stop yourself and say, stop. Jennifer, stop. Rachel, stop. What are they trying to say to me? What am I not hearing? Why am I want to fight them? That's your distortion. That's what comes up in me. Anytime I want to fight someone, I'm like, stop, Jody, stop. Why am I getting so reactionary here? Like, there's no Oh my God, here. listen to the music. What is this sad music playing over this speech? I'm, 
Lost for words. This is so fucking bizarre. Don't attack us. Don't attack yourself. Attack distortion. Distortion is the thing that's trying to drag you down and kill you and kill your children. Kill your children? What are you saying? I feel like I'm watching some weird movie with like a super villain and like they're like spewing their master plan. Like this feels so fucking weird. And look at Ruby's face. She is so cold blooded. There is nothing behind them eyes. I'm convinced. And we'll take the arrows of distortion to help share with anyone, even if it's one person that can hear us. We're here. So please don't leave. Just humble yourself and get curious. Am I in distortion? What just happened? I feel like I need to cleanse my body or something. I just, I feel dirty all of a sudden. Now, if you don't mind me, I am going to go and cuddle my dog because I feel like I'm an awful human for even experiencing that. Um, and I need to feel like an actual normal human again. So uh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, whatever you do, please don't listen to Jordan Ruby. The world doesn't deserve that.